Hello valued members, volunteers, staff, community partners, and everyone else watching. Welcome to our second annual virtual Remembrance Day service. We are committed to continuing to provide ex exceptional older adult programs, services, and events to our members and doing so safely. Although we were hoping this year we would be able to host an in-person service, we hope you enjoy the commemorative and meaningful service we have put together for you in partnership with Branch 178 of the Canadian Royal Legion. We know just how important it is to pay tribute to our veterans and their families. So as you watch, we ask that you take a moment to honor and recognize so many who fought for our freedom as we do each year on November 11th. We will remember them. Cover party, carry cover. Why wear a poppy? Please wear a poppy, the lady said, and held one forth, but I shook my head. Then I stopped and watched as she offered them there, and her face was old and lined with care. But beneath the scars the years had made, there remained a smile that refused to fade. A boy came whistling down the street, bouncing along on carefree feet. His smile was full of joy and fun. Lady, said he, may I have one? When she pinned it on, he turned to say, why do we wear a poppy today? The lady smiled in her wistful way and answered, this is Remembrance Day. And the poppy there is a symbol for the gallant men who died in war. And because they did, you and I are free. That's why we wear a poppy, you see. I had a boy about your size, with golden hair and big blue eyes. Oh, he loved to play and jump and shout. Free as a bird, he would race about. As the years went by, he learned and grew and became a man as you will too. 
He was fine and strong with a boyish smile, but he smiled with us such a little while. When war broke out and he went away, I still remember his face that day. When he smiled at me and said goodbye, I'll be back soon, Mom. Please don't cry. But the war went on and he had to stay. And all I could do was wait and pray. His letters told of the awful fight. I can see it still in my dreams at night with the tanks and guns and cruel barbed wire and the mines and bullets, the bombs and fire. Till at last, at last, the war was won. And that's why we were a poppy son. The small boy turned as if to go, then said, thank you, lady, I'm glad to know. That sure did sound like an awful fight. But your son, did he come back all right? A tear rolled down her faded cheek. She shook her head, but didn't speak. I slunk away in a sort of shame. And if you were me, you'd have done the same. For our thanks in given, if off delayed, though our freedom was bought and thousands paid. And so when we see a poppy worn, let us reflect on the burden borne by those who gave their very all when asked to answer their country's call, that we at home in peace might live then we are a poppy. Remember and give. We were there, my friend, that day in 44, that day when hell broke loose upon that distant shore. We were young and fearless then, valiant of heart were we. Never a thought that on that day we made history. Oh, my friend, that day was long for me, but not for you. When you fell, I heard you cry. I held your hand and said goodbye. In many corners of this world, my friends and comrades lie. Far from the homes they left behind, they were so young to die. Forget them not, O Canada, my country strong and free. Those sons of yours who fought and died, they fought and died for thee. Remember all my friends, I pray, who were there that longest day.
fields the poppies blow between the crosses row on row that mark our place and in the sky the larks still bravely singing flies scarce heard amid the guns below we are the dead short days ago we lived felt dawn saw sunset glow loved and were loved and now we lie in flanders fields 
Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. Let us continue to remember the men and women in our armed forces, both past and present, and also those people who were affected by war who were not in uniform. Let us come together in prayer. Let us pray. God of peace and love, we ask that you would defend our armed forces. We ask that you would give them the courage to meet all occasions with discipline and loyalty. So may they serve the cause of justice and of peace. Lord, we ask also that you would bless our young people and in the coming generations. May they never see the flames of war or know the depths of cruelty to which men and women can sink. Grant that in their generation, they may know peace. Bless our, all the men and women in the, in the armed forces who suffered or who are still suffering from war. Grant that your love may reach out to the wounded, the disabled, the mentally distressed, and those whose faith has been shaken, especially by what they have seen and what they have endured. Comfort all those who mourn the death of loved ones and all who this day miss their very good friends. We also pray that you would bless those who are refugees, those who are hungry, those who have lost their livelihood or security because of war. Help us to pledge ourselves to comfort, support, and encourage others, that all may live in a world where evil and poverty are done away, and where human life reflects the radiance of the kingdom of peace. We ask also that you would bless those in authority in every land, and give them wisdom to know and to be encouraged to do what is right. Encourage those who work for peace, who strive to improve international relations, who seek new ways of reconciling people of different race, color, and creed. And now, rejoicing in the communion of saints, we remember those whom you have gathered after the storm of war into the peace of your presence and everlasting life. And we give thanks for those that we have known, whose memory we treasure, whose memories we share. May the example of their devotion inspire us, that we may be taught to live by those who learned to die. May their memory be a blessing forever and ever. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. <clears throat> Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Would you please stand if you are able?
Please be seated. They were young as we were young. They served given freely of themselves. To them we played amid the winds of time. To carry their torch and never forget, we will remember them. We will remember them. Each year, a BOAA representative is asked to place a wreath in memory of those lost. We will remember them.
Thank you for watching. We would like to take this time to recognize, thank, and applaud Branch 178 of the Royal Canadian Legion and Sergeant at Arms John Greenfield for assisting us in our second virtual program today. In addition, thank you to our talented speakers and performers. On Remembrance Day today and every day, we will remember them. Forever, for always and more.
forever, for always and more. 